What is up everybody? As of right now, I have no clue what I am going to title this video, but I definitely want to talk about the Tinker 3s. It seems like either people love it or hate it. There's really no in-between and I kind of want to figure out why. So let's get right into it. Let's go. And I have the shoes right here. Big shout out to my brother JR for letting me borrow it. And yeah, as I mentioned, I want to talk about why people love or hate the shoe. And me personally, I love this shoe. Oh, and for those that don't know, this is Tinker Hatfield's original sketch of the Air Jordan 3. Now, as I mentioned, I love the shoe. And you know, especially this colorway, very clean colorway for the summertime. But if you really take a closer look at the shoe, that's not much, you know difference from the, the the threes that actually released and if you look at the outsole you know you got the hits of nothing's changed on the outsole you got the hits of the red gray and white now if you head over to the upper that's where you see some change of course the most notable one is the addition of the nike swoosh there on the upper and if you look closely the elephant print is slightly different from the threes that actually released in a little bit here I'll, i will grab my black cement threes and you know show you guys a comparison if you head over to the inner side of the shoe you can see like an embroidered nike branding right there and other than that there's not much difference from the original sketch to you know to the threes that actually released if you head over to the heel this is my favorite part of the shoe is the red heel patch. It really pops, it really stands out. There's also Tinker Hatfield's signature behind the tongue. If you look at the insole, you see Tinker Hatfield's signature as well. And it looks like there's a quote there, but I can't make it out, it's kind of blurry. So let me know if you guys know what that actually says. I cannot make out that quote. And there is a drawing of the three on there. All right, and I have my black cement threes right here to compare, you know. And as you can see on the black cement threes, the, the cement pattern is definitely a lot more defined than the one on a Tinker pair. Now, I don't know if that's because the, the cement pattern on the Tinkers were blacked out or not. I have no clue, but it's definitely more defined and it sticks out a lot more on the Black Cement 3. Now, I love the shoe because yes, they are Tinker's original sketch of the Air Jordan 3. And it's not like, too much was done to it to completely ruin the shoe it's very minimal what you know they added to it do i prefer what actually released over the the tinkers yes i prefer these because this is what you know i grew up to know this is what we all know as a three but do i want to add this to my collection yes i do as i mentioned very minimal what they added the nike swoosh you know the nike uh branding on the inner side and you know the elephant print looks slightly different to me it's not too much me personally i don't think they ruined the shoe so that's why i love this shoe now of course it would depend on what colorways i'm not gonna buy every colorway but this one i definitely want must have for the summertime and now my question is for those that hate the shoe now from what i've read on sneaker blogs and you know sneaker instagram posts from what i see when people commenting about these are that they're calling it, you know, the knockoff threes or the Team Jordan threes. That's what I'm seeing a lot, you know, and I, I don't really get that. I think some people are just, you know, afraid of change, afraid of things that are new. I'm not sure, you know, that's why I made this video. I'm curious to find out. So I would love to know whether you love or hate the shoe and the reasons, the reasonings why, you know, if you love it, let me know why. If you hate it, let me know why. So yeah, please leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And until my next video, see ya. So he figured he'd just let me sell it on GOAT. You know, I've been, I've been wanting to do a video about selling on GOAT for a while. And these shoes are DS, never worn, never tried on. So yeah, this is what we're selling. Box is in great condition. Of of course, because it's brand new, it's all brand new. So let's head to my phone and let's see what we gotta do. All right, so let's open up that.